Hello everyone. Welcome to Makers with Heart Mystery Envelope Challenge for September. Um, I mailed out the envelopes this month, so I don't have my printed instructions, but I can tell you what the rules are. Um, I sent everyone some thin cuts that I had pre-stamped. Let me get them out here. From the Gnomes for Autumn scrapbooking uh, stamp set, stamp and thin cut set. And then, oh, here's another one. I sent some of the new pumpkin and the new limeade cardstock. And the only rules are that you have to make something fall and you can add as many other embellishments or thin cuts or stamp sets or anything you want. There was no, there was no limit. You were, you were free to do whatever but you just have to uh, color at least one of these. And I'm gonna color them all. And I've added some additional Cricut cuts. Oh, and the other one is you had to use Acorn. Um, our Acorn cardstock. Um, I think it's a, it's a color that's not gonna get much love because it's not bright and vibrant. So I wanted to showcase this, this uh, color. So first thing I wanna do is I'm going to be using a combination of our new Colorista colored pencils and our Spectrum Noir markers. And so I'm gonna get those out. I haven't even opened these yet, but I have used others, but these ones are mine. So the first thing I'm gonna do, and it tells you the colors on the back. I'm gonna take the orange citrus, and it says also on the pencil, and I am going to color in this pumpkin. And I'm gonna do some um, darker on the lines. Now these are not watercolor pencils. You can make them watercolor by using a water brush. I'm not doing that today. I'm just going to use them as the just regular colored pencil. These are a wax base, I believe. Um, while I do this, if you're not familiar with the Makers with Heart, we are a group of Close to My Heart consultants. And on the 25th of every month, we do what is called a mystery envelope. And one of us sends an envelope with the same things to everybody in the group and we all there's rules the ones I just read or told you what they're gonna be um, everybody then creates their own project following those rules and the the variations and what people create is just phenomenal and very inspiring I learn so much from these ladies so um, I hope you do too be sure and check out all of them there are seven of us, but at the moment, there's only six of us um, active in this because uh, Kim had some personal things that she needed to attend to, but she will be back and we're just, you know, saving space for her and giving her grace while she deals with the things that she needs to deal with. <clears throat> we all have things that come up in our lives. So just wait for Kim, she'll be back. And, oh, I'm sorry, I grabbed the pine green to do the handle. I don't know what these things are called on a pumpkin. So there's my pumpkin. I'm going to use, I'm going to use a combination of the yellow and the orange. And it's called Sunburst Yellow for these sunflowers. I'm just going to kind of shade in the middle of each of these in the sunburst yellow. We have uh, three of these 
pencil kits in different different shades. This one is Vibrant Blendable. And then I'm going to come back with the orange citrus and kind of come around the outsides and blend into that yellow. I'm going to be using, like I said, a combination of pens and pencils. You can see these blend in together real well. Kind of kind of like a sunflower. They're never all the same shade. There's probably more black on a sunflower leaf, but I'm just not going to try and do that because I am not an uh, artist that way. Okay, so there's my little sunflower with multiple colors. I'm going to leave the inside of that as dark. Um, now I'm going to work on, oh, those are some of the leaves I'm going to add later. Some of these leaves I'm going to, um, we're going to try fresh green. Do I want fresh green? Yeah, I'm going to um, fresh green on this one. And then I am going to come in with that yellow, no, yellow and green make blue, with some red. Fiery red to, you know, to simulate the changing of the leaf color. Just kind of come around the middle here. To blend this in. And I'm going to come back over it, over the green. So there's our leaf changing color. Then we have this maple leaf. I'm gonna use the pine green for this one. Um, just because that's what I have in this kit. I have other colored pencils, but this is the one I have out. And I'm not sure, um, I'm going to color the little mushroom in pens because I want a different color on this one. And I think I'm going to go with Earth Brown Blend. So the bottom of this, I'm going to use the light. And then the tops, I'm going to go to the dark. We're going to use all three hues on these. I still love these pens. They they color so fabulously. And then in the middle, we're going to use 
the medium to get the under. Okay, so there's our little mushroom. And we do still need to color this other sunflower. I'm going to do it um, more of the orange. Oh my, I'm not under the camera. I did not get this one stamped perfectly in line, but I think it'll be okay. The others that I sent out are. And this, um, it just shows you, it's perfectly okay to use different types of mediums on one project, like I'm using the pens and the pencils. And I'm actually gonna get this light brown and come in here and kind of like put some, a little bit of shading in the center of these sunflowers. better now I pre-cut some images I just went into design space and searched for harvest and found some things and changed them like edited them to fit the the project that I needed for so um, I've already pre-cut those. I've got those already over here ready to just add, I'm trying to save some time. So you don't need to watch me cut things. I'm just gonna move these all out of the way. Now, I know that stamping right onto your project can be scary, but we're gonna do it anyways. I'm going to use the Gather with Grateful Hearts stamp from the same stamp and thin cut set. <clears throat> and we're going to stamp it up in the top corner of our layout. I hope you can see that. And I'm going to use the Memento ink. I am just in love with this ink. I, I don't know why. It just stamps so crisp and clear. And that's what I used to stamp all those... Um, thin cuts that I am sending out to everybody as well because it doesn't doesn't bleed when you color on it. It's just perfect. Now, you'll notice I'm stamping this before I put any of my embellishments on here. That way, if I screw it up, I can just turn it over or grab a new sheet. Yay! Okay, I'm not using the four and a quarter by five and a half sheets of pumpkin and limeade that I put in the kits, um, but I am going to use a five and a half by seven and a half piece of pumpkin with a five by seven photo of my family. So I'm going to put that down. This is an older pumpkin patch picture. If you've followed me for even a minute, you know that our family pumpkin, pa pumpkin patch pictures, I I just love. We, um, we do this every year. This is like a family event with my sister and her family. We book it out. In fact, um, it's August when I'm recording this and we're gonna book this today for our family trip with coordinate with everybody. This one is an older one. Kyle's not here, but um, it's okay. I have this in a frame and I need to replace it with more recent ones in my house. So it's time to scrapbook it. The next thing I did off camera was I cut this on a design space and I glued it down already. I'm going to be putting that right here with some foam tape. And I just used the leftover squares some shaker cards. You'll see this round piece is still here. Um, that coordinates with our 
shaker card uh, thin cut set and acetone, not as, uh, yeah, the acetone sheet that goes on the top. Okay. If you're in the Reno area, Reno Carson area, this farm that we go to is called Renner Farm. It's out in Smith Valley. It's it's so much fun. They put corn maze, uh, hay rides, pumpkin patch, bonfire. We just make a whole a whole day of it. And you know, over the years, we've became friends with the family. So it's just an event we do, and we all look forward to it every year. Okay, next I have my images that we colored. We're gonna throw them on there. Add some contrast. And then I'm gonna hold off on that. What I did offline was I cut some leaves in varying things and some little sprigs we're gonna add. So the, I want to take the the pumpkin leaves and see I two-tone I'm gonna to use the different side so we have a little offset but first I want to add pull them all out here I may not use them all but we're gonna pull them all out some if I can find a black pen Um, of the little lines, you know, that kind of come down the middle of the, this pen is not going to work very well. So it shows the stem and the leaf. You might need to get a new pen. Then I'm just going to kind of arrange them around. I don't like that one at all. So we're going to cover it with some other stuff. Then I have the green one. And I'm just putting these down. They're not they're not glued down. They're not adhesive down yet. I am just arranging. Good knit. So this this project is actually a bigger project than I normally do on on these videos. But um, I hope you will stick around and see it to the end. I usually try to do a card or something that doesn't take up so much of your time. So let's just kind of lay these out. We don't have to fit everything perfect right now. I'm gonna do multiple different sides so that these um, of the green, you know, so they don't all just go the same way every time. We can stick some of these behind our sunflower. And I have some cute little acorns. Put those with the pumpkin. I'm just trying to use a lot of different elements on this page because it's all fall and I we just love it all so much.
Um, got some acorns up here. Now again, these are with the acorn color and I'm using the opposite sides. I don't know if you can see that. Oop, I just bent that. Put some acorns here. Then we have our little mushroom we'll put down here in the corner. So that's the general idea. Now I have to come in and and stick them all down. Um, so these little sprigs that I'm not, they're, they're too little for a tape runner. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with them because they're gonna be tucked behind things. So I'm gonna just leave that there for right now. A variation of sunflowers. I'm gonna just grab liquid glue. It's just gonna be faster to get these sprigs. And I'm not doing the whole leaf because I want it to be a little free flowing. So that we have a little bit of three-dimensional on here. Liquid glass would work really good for this. Um, I have mentioned before I loaned it to a friend and I believe she's still using it because I haven't got it back and that's perfectly fine. No rush. I don't think I like those lines. I'm not going to keep them. So I'm just going to flip it on over. Put some more glue on these. This isn't a normal style of scrapbooking for, scrap booking for me. I don't typically do a lot of embellishing like this, um, but I see everybody else do it and it just looks so cute. I wanted to do it as well. So I'm just randomly doing this. There's not really any um, rhyme or reasoning to my, my placement of these other than just sticking them on here. So again, I don't like this, the lines I put on here. So I'm going to put the adhesive on those and put them on the back side. You gotta be smarter than the paper. There we go. So I'm just going to keep placing these all the way around.
until I get them all put down um, where I want them. And oh, I thought there was one of these. Try, I almost keep trying to glue on top of my photo, and so don't don't do that because then, I mean, it does dry clear, but I don't really want glue on top of my photo. And these ones on top, I'm going to do just a smidge differently instead of tucking them behind the mat of the photo. I'm going to tuck them behind the photo. And I'm gonna come down and overlap these ones on top down onto the photo as well. Again, I'm not putting, I'm only putting adhesive on the first little um, dabs of it, so it's not gonna get on my photo. those ones down yet. Put this over here. <clears throat> I am going to do the same with these ones on top. Put them behind the photo, not the mat. And then just doing the base, not the whole leaf. You can do the whole leaf if you want to. I am just choosing not to because I like them to be a little bit more um, flowy. It gives it a little more dimensional if they're lifted a little bit. I don't know that I like that leaf there, so I'm going to move that. Some of these, I'm going to do these ones behind the photo as well. This one is not gonna have a green leaf. It's gonna have two of these sprigs. And so I'm going to do them on opposite sides so that you get the different colors. It's gonna be very subtle, but it will still be noticeable. See the difference? I don't know if you can see it on there. It is kind of far, but like our color, our cardstocks do have the two Two different color combinations, a muted and a darker on the different sides. And these ones I have done. Now we have this leaf, this extra leaf, and I'm going to just place it. Um, under here and then we have oh we haven't done these ones yet yeah i'm going to do these ones with foam dots because they are around the title and i might just put that leaf there as well So there we have it. That is my fall page. Um, uh, these are, well, these images are from, like I said, the gnome 
Gnomes for Autumn stamp and thin cut set. And I used acorn and pumpkin and limeade cardstock, as well as some, I had some scrap in the black. And is that scarlet? I don't know. Um, but it was just scrap that I had. And I used our new pencils to color these and then some of the shin hand markers as well. So I hope you like it. Please be sure to pick out or check out um, everyone else's as well. And um, do I wanna add something else to this? I don't think I do. Sorry, I get sidetracked so easy. I was kind of thinking something up here, but I think we have enough. I don't wanna um, make it too busy. It's already kind of busy, but um, check out the other makers with heart. Let's see what they did with the, with the items I sent them. And if you have not clicked that subscribe button for us, please do that as well. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a great September.